Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at a map called Unorthodox Stunting, because I already did the sequel to this map, Unorthodox Stunting Retribution, and you guys seem to like it. So now we're going to backtrack to the original Unorthodox Stunting. Consisting of a series of churns, twists, and jumps, you will be taking your off-road edition of the Gravel D-Series for an unorthodox trip. Tips and hints, the car is top-heavy. Don't drive to the top of the bank corners or you will roll the car. The car is also underpowered around the bank churns. Take the shorter route around the churn, your suspension will take some beating. Use it to your advantage on jumps and pipes. And no good luck for you. You do the best you can whether we say good luck or not. And the reason I always mention is just because I'm used to saying good luck right before I start a scenario. That's really it. I'm just used to doing it. And when it's not there, it throws me off. And you can't tell me what to do. We're going to go at the top of this bank corner and it didn't seem like we were going to roll over at all. Although, the next one looks like it's a lot steeper. Like that was the baby corner. This is like a serious corner. But I'm going to try it anyways. I want to see if the car really roll. It doesn't look that steep. I mean, we're pretty high up there on the bank of the corner and we're not rolling over. You'd have to be right on the edge to actually get it to roll, I think. And in that situation, you'd probably also got to worry about flying off the edge of the course because you're so close to the edge. I don't know. Oh, we got to jump. Oh, come on. Oh, don't. Don't. Oh. All right, we're good. I think uh, the car is still driving perfect. Radiator is damaged, though, so we're going to overheat soon. Thankfully, I don't think this scenario is too long, considering the other one wasn't that long either. And we got a loop up here. I'm going to switch up this camera and I want to go kind of to the right I think whoa nope 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 you know what I was going way too fast through that section I did not need to go 120 miles per hour we could have scrubbed off 30 miles per hour and we would have still probably been fine there and I wonder is there any section after that where I'll regret scrubbing off that speed though well we'll find out because I'm gonna slow down this next try it does kind of suck though that there's no way to just continue from where you were in some way just to learn the track because I'm sure I'm gonna have a couple of spots where it's like oh that's probably a better strategy after I fly off the course and crash and die and stuff it's like yeah I probably should have done that and then we gotta do this whole thing all over again for the next attempt and it just takes a while you know it's gonna be like 30 seconds probably or so before we get to that loop and if I mess it up again well then there goes another 30 seconds actually a lot more than 30 seconds. It's even closer to a minute, it looks like, than 30 seconds. It's gonna take a while, though. So I gotta make sure. Minimize the mistakes. That should be the strategy, is to make as little mistakes as possible. Right here, I know if I floor it, I'll make it. We'll try to, like, just make it a little smoother of a landing. That was not any smoother. I don't know if you could really get a smooth landing there. That's, uh, kind of a rough jump, no matter how you do it, I think. All right, sliding, sliding, don't need to do sliding. Stop sliding, you little, stop sliding. Okay, all right, we'll slow down like 90 miles per hour, probably at the entrance of this. So like there, and then, perfect. So you just slow it down just a bit and it makes it a lot easier. And I see another loop coming, so I'll keep this camera and go, whoa, that thing's kind of wacky right there. All right, 90-ish miles per hour going into this one. Bouncing a little bit. Just stay on that road. All right. Good job. Good job. Uh, uh, wait. Oh, goodness. It's one of those. Oh, go over. Oh, no. Uh, floor it. Floor it. I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know if I have enough speed. Whoa! This will, oh, God. Don't. Mm, wait. Wait. Hello? Are we okay? Ha! We're alive! I think we actually, I don't know how that worked, but somehow we made that. Is this like ice? Okay, no, it looks like we could stop. Like, I'm looking at this, it's like, this is really reflective. Is it glass or is it ice we're driving on? I guess it's basically driving on uh, glass because it seems like we have a decent amount of traction. Although I don't have a car that's driving in a straight line exactly. It's a little, uh little bit off-centered but we're actually doing pretty good like we're on checkpoint 11 out of 16 so this might uh, be a shorter video than I expected just because I'm such a good driver yeah that's, that's, that's actually not being sarcastic for once I actually have done a decent job I know my truck is ruined yeah don't look don't worry about that part worry about the fact that I might complete this on my second try like that's much better than I did on the other unorthodox stunting one where it took me like five tries this one second try that's great 
That's funny. Some of you guys said the original was harder. Yeah, well, you were wrong. Look at me. I'm destroying the original. I say that, and then there's going to be something crazy right at the end that's going to mess me up, right? Because I'm, like, so calm right here. It's like there's nothing that could possibly mess me up. Except maybe going around that corner a little too fast and scaring myself. All right. We got another one of these things with the giant hills. I'm going to just uh, floor it, but I'm going to keep an eye on my temperature gauge. If it starts to overheat, we're going to drop some speed. Okay, it's getting uh, hot. It's getting hot, but it's not overheating. Come on. Stay cool. Stay cool. Don't get too hot. Well, what's going to happen here? Is this going to be like a, a steep drop? I don't know what I should be doing. I'm going to just coast it, coast it, because I'm a little scared. All right, what are we doing? All right, go, floor it. Wait, don't floor it yet. Okay, I want to make sure I'm on the road, not flying above the road. Because if I'm flying above the road, then I'll... Oh, my goodness! Well, I uh, didn't think that would be such a rough bounce right there. That thing bounced me. And all we had left was that jump. That was it. That doesn't even look that hard, but it managed to mess me up. Oh well, try it one more time. Should be able to get it, I see no reason why not. I mean, I got all the way through it pretty much, and that was just a new section. I didn't know how rough that bounce was. Although I don't really know how you can, what I should do differently. Like, I don't know what the ideal approach for that is yet. I know what I did the first time was wrong, but I'm not exactly sure why. It might have just been because my car's suspension was all beat up and it wasn't exactly even. It caused my car to bounce off to the side. I could totally see that being the problem. Or it might be something totally different that I have to do where I went too fast or do it. I, I'm not really sure, but we got to go pretty fast to look like. He's looking at that and it's like, that is a big jump. I don't know. Might have to do a couple of tries on that very last jump. So that means we have to do like all this driving just to figure out how we do that part. Kind of sucks. That was actually not bad. I just floored it the whole way. Before I was trying to hit the brakes and try to level out the vehicle some. I guess you don't need to. I just floor it the whole way and it seems to work perfectly fine. In fact, we're going faster than last time. Uh, the question is just, did it get damaged more than last time? All right, slow it down. There we go, about 95. Very reasonable speed. Perfect. See, I'm good at those, actually. I'm pretty good at those. Like, as long as I'm not trying to go too fast through it, I'm pretty good. This thing's weird. Oh, okay, we're good. And a 95 again. Perfect. All right. Now through here, I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do as the ideal approach. Maybe we'll slow it down and then floor it. And like that, is that gonna land me smoothly? Oh, come on, oh. All right, well that did some damage. How badly do you drive? Uh, that's pulling to the left bad. That is pulling to the left bad. There goes my door. I ain't needed it anyways. It was just adding weight. So we're going to be at the exact same situation as last time, though. I have a damaged suspension, and I'm trying to make, uh, make it through that really harsh jump. Hmm. Unfortunate. It looks like you could almost, like, skip a section right there, doesn't it? Like, right there, you just kind of hop across. I don't think it would do you any good, but it looks like you could do it. Now, if I spend three minutes just to fail or whatever, I really don't want to do it again. I want to make sure this is a successful run. Because having to do it all over again is kind of a pain. Just keeping it slow. I do not want to fall here. I don't want to overheat the engine. Those are my only two concerns. And I think this thing's actually pulling worse than last time. Like last time pulled a little bit. This one pulls a lot to the side. Except it was pulling to the right before, now it's pulling to the left. Not like it makes a difference or anything. Oh goodness, it does make a difference when you almost fall off the edge because your steering capabilities are so bad going to the right you can't do it. That is a scary, scary thing. Slow it down. Keep it gentle, 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 gentle. And go! Beautiful. So when I get to the top, I do have to be a little careful. 
Like, I don't want to go too fast and fly off the edge. Oh, goodness, this thing's overheating. Kill off the gas. We don't need that much gas. Just coast it a little bit. I don't want to blow up the engine right before the finale. All right, going good. Here we go, for the hard part. Wait, slow, 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 and fast. Come on, come on. That was good, oh, come on. You better roll, you better roll. Roll, roll, roll! Yes, rolling! Cause that ain't gonna drive, that is dead, but it made it. Splat. Four minutes and 24 seconds. That actually took me a while, but I was making sure I made it. Like, I'm just like, I wanna make it, I wanna make it, I wanna make it. I just don't wanna fail. And I did not fail. So, I uh, guess that'll do it for this video. A little bit short. Not my fault I actually drove good for once. Excuse me. Anyways, till next time, this has been YBR. I'll see ya.